I like to start drawing Simon's cat by drawing the eyes first, and then I'll draw a letter M, kind of, for the ears. Um, after that, I draw the little triangle nose and the mouth, and it gives him a cute face. Just like in the Simon's Cat animations. In this one, I'm doing him pointing to his mouth. So I'll draw his big mouth. It kind of looks like a chair, if you kind of look at it. And then I, but leave a little white space for his tongue. And then to draw his body, you just draw a big curve. And then um, his hands are kind of tricky, but you just do a little finger pointing and then three little curves for the rest of his fingers. And then I curve all the way down to form the rest of his arm. And then I draw his little feet. They're kind of just like little curvies, like if you're drawing a cloud, that's kind of the easiest way to draw his feet. Um, next, um, I'll draw his other foot, but first I'll draw the curve connecting his first foot to his, um, the one pointing to his mouth. And then I'll just add the tail. Um, it's kind of going off the page, but. And then for his back leg, you draw a little curve and then another foot. And then you just kind of drag out the line and curve it back and then finish the tail. And that's how you draw him pointing to his mouth. Next, I'm gonna draw him at the beginning of the animations when he's just sitting there with his tongue out. So I'll start with a big M and then I'll go down for the rest of his body. And then I'll add his eyes and his triangle nose. And then for his tongue, you kind of do a sideways D with a little line for the middle. Then I'll continue down his body at his foot. And I'll draw a little line to represent his stomach. Um, and then I'll draw his other foot. Um, and then I'll draw another little line connecting to his back foot. And then I'll draw the rest of his body. And then the little tail. That's how you draw him at the beginning of the animations. Next I'm gonna draw him laying flat on his stomach. And I'll start with the eyes again. And then I'll draw an M shape. And I'll kind of go back a bit for his neck. And then I'll draw his nose and his little smile. And then I'll go down into his front foot and draw a little cloud. And then you add the little pad. And then I'll add his other foot. And you draw another little cloud. And then this one's kind of fat. And then I'll draw his stomach and his back. And I'll add his back foot. And draw another little cloud. And then kind of make that one fat too. And I go down into his tail, which is off the page. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Next, I'm going to draw him sleeping in his bed. And I'll start out by drawing the little entrance to the bed. And then I'll curve slightly up and then around and add some fluff to it on both sides, trying to mirror it. So do exactly what I did on the other side. And then I bring it down and curve it under. And then I'll just add some kind of fluff to it everywhere 
and then I'll start by drawing um, his tail. Oh, my hair got in the way, but um, so yeah, his tail. And then I'll draw the little curve for his foot. And then I'll continue with his belly. And then I'll go up into his, that M shape again. And then I'll add the eyes. And his nose and his smile. And then I draw his back, and go down and around. Oh, I just have to fix the bed so it lines up good. But, and then make it look like he's snoring by adding some Z's on the top. This time I'm going to draw him just sitting there normally. And I'll start off again by drawing the eyes. And then I'll do the M shape for his ears, like I have for the past four. And then I'll go down into his foot and do the little cloud and come up for both of his feet. And then I'll go into the back leg by drawing a curve and then another little cloud and you slightly curve up on the back. And then you have the tail. And then, now I'm gonna draw Simon's kitten in a teacup. And I'll start again by doing the eyes and his nose and smile, just like I have for Simon's cat. And then I'll add his two front paws. And then I'll go up into the M shape for his ears. And then now I'll bring out his cheek and make it kind of fluffy on both sides all the way down to his paws and then I'll add a little bit of fluff out the side for his cute little tail and then now to draw the teacup I'll go around a little bit I don't want to cover up his paws so I'll go kind of behind those and then I'll go down, and then on one side I want to add the handle. So I just add the handle, and then I go down to make the bottom. I'm gonna add a plate, and then to make it look like it goes down a little bit in the middle, I'll just add a little circle, and then I'll just add some, a few lines everywhere to make it look like it's shining in the light. And I add some shadowing there. And then I'll just draw a bunch of flowers here and there on the teacup. And that's how you draw Simon's cat and Simon's kitten. Mm -hmm.